हरे कृष्णा मैं नवनीत व्यास एस्ट्रो चैनल में आप लोगों का फिर से बहुत बहुत स्वागत करता हूँ नाउ डेज पीपल आर नॉट ओनली बिलीविंग इन द जेम स्टोन बट लॉर्ड ऑफ क्रिस्टल हीलिंग एज वेल लॉर्ड ऑफ क्रिस्टल हीलिंग एंड आई मस्ट टेल यू दैट ऑल द क्रिस्टल हीलिंग दैट पीपल आर डूइंग दे वर्क आई हैव सीन द रिजल्ट सो वन थिंग इज वेरी क्लियर दैट एवरी जेम स्टोन इज रिलेटेड टू योर चक्र ऑफ योर बॉडी ओ दैट्स एन अदर फाइंडिंग that means if the crystal healings are working that means there is an energy of every planet and a respective gemstone that belongs to chakras let us find out you see these are the list of the chakras and these are certain planets that are associated with these chakras see the the first one we start from muladhara the planet which is associated is mercury and k2 but the color is red so the gemstones may differ in the color but their frequency will be different swadhisthana is shukra manipura is mars anahata is shani vishuddhi is jupiter the ajna is sun and moon the sastra is rahu remember the highest level of devotion is rahu trust me if you have rahu in a good position in the 10th house there is no problem if you wear the gemstone of rahu under certain conditions i must tell you that even rahu can make you happy even rahu has ability to take you to the pilgrims even rahu has ability to give you tons of devotion i have seen this combination in the charts of many many people where the rahu has given them tons and tons of devotion go check the charts of sages and sons you'll find find this very clear combination in the palm we have certain you know just like chakras we have these connection the points the epicenters on the palms as well sense of self growth is in the index finger responsibility is in the middle finger your relationship with others that is the engagement finger your communication is the pinky finger your self assertions are in the thumb there is a chandra area there is a shukra area on your thumb just below the thumb you have shukra area and this area that you see here unconscious visual images fantasies this is a chandra area you have these points on the thumbs as well that is why lot of people suggest you to wear gemstones on the on the on your hands on the fingers but i really suggest in the pendant form and i'll tell you why similarly these are the planetary mounts that you have so just below the index finger you have mount of jupiter below the middle finger you have mount of shani below the ring finger you have the mount of venus as well as surya below the pinky finger you have mount of mercury and the thumb belongs to mangal as well trust me lot of people say oh thumb no 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 below the thumb you have venus but on the top of the thumb you have mangal devata इसीलिए जब हम युद्ध में जाने से पहले किसी का तिलक करते हैं तो वो अंगूठे के साथ किया जाता है नॉट विद द थर्ड फिंगर बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट दैट मंगल टू बी स्ट्रॉन्ग वेन यू आर गोइंग ऑन द वर्ल्ड वेन यू गो फॉर योर एग्जाम और आपको मंदिर में जाके तिलक करना हो तो अपने बच्चे का तिलक आप अंगूठे से करेंगे यूल नॉट डू इट विदर्ड फिंगर रिमेंबर दिस दिस इज अ ग्राउंड रूल यू विल नॉट एक्टिवेट हिज ईगो and his devotion with the third finger you will have to do it with the thumb always with the thumb that's where the mars is the tip of the thumb is the mars and especially the right hand have you seen an army battalion ko tilak hote kabhi dekha hai yudh mein jaane se pehle anguthe ke sath tilak karenge agar unko knowledge hai these are the planetary you know positions and that is how you wear certain gemstones these are basic protocols but you can alter them 
Pukharaj we are wearing in the index finger. Then these Gomed, Neelam, Cat's Eye, Diamond in the middle finger. These are the ideal positions for these gemstones. Ideal. We have Munga and Manik in the ring finger and Moti and Emerald in the pinky finger. But definitely we can alter these positions based on the planetary positions, the combinations in your chart. But these are the generic fingers for these gemstones. Generic fingers. Must remember this. If you think that I have got exuberant results by wearing yellow sapphire in the ring finger, the answer is yes. I have also seen great results where I have recommended the red coral in the index finger and I have got results. Where I have recommended the green emerald in the middle finger or even in the ring finger or even in the index finger and I have got results. There are special combinations, but these are the ideal combinations. Ideally, if you are wearing a gemstone, you must wear this particular gemstone in this particular finger. These are the chakra points on your hand. So the solar plexus chakra is your thumb. The heart chakra is your index finger. The throat chakra is your middle finger. The root chakra is your ring finger. And the sacral chakra is your pinky finger. This is where your chakras are. This is where your energy is. And when you're wearing yellow sapphire in the, on the index finger, you are actually helping your heart chakra. You're making your heart pure. Jiska man saaf hai, Bhagawan sirf usko milte hai. Aap jitna marji puja kar lo, it is not worth it. Your heart should be clean. It should not be a dirty one. If it is a dirty one, well, you're in a real Kali Yuga. Do you really want to have good communication? It is very, very important that your sacral chakra should also get some vibrations from Mercury, from your moon, from your mind, from your communication, from your intelligence. But if your communication is really bad, really, then under those circumstances, I recommend wearing a green emerald on the root chakra in the ring finger. If I want that you should be intelligent enough to make your heart clear in front of people, your heart is clear. But you cannot tell other people that my heart is clear. I will ask your emerald that, hey, go and sit on the heart chakra. So I will suggest that person to wear emerald on the index finger. When your communications go wrong professionally and people take you wrong, people blame you, I can change these combinations. So many permutations and combinations are there. And have you ever thought that why do you have you know, these 12 small squares on the fingers. Why? Because you have these 12 Rashis. You have these 12 Rashis here. Starting from this first fingertip as Mesha Rashi. Aries. Okay. So you want to know what, what these Rashis are? You can just sit like here. Okay. This is Aries. This is Taurus. These are the Rashis. Now, when you wear a particular gemstone on a particular finger, you should know that you are activating those Rashis on that finger. When you are activating those Rashis, you are activating those houses as well. And these are standard for everyone. It is not going to change as per Lagna. These are standard. The index finger fingertip is Aries. So if you are wearing a gemstone in the middle finger, what Rashis are activated there? 4, 5 and 6. So wherever your 4th, 5th and 6th Rashi is, those houses are getting activated. Remember this. Okay, It is just not catering to a chakra. It is just not catering to the mount of the planet, but it is also catering to the Rashi in which you are wearing a gemstone. Now think about it. Think like that. We move on to colors. 
So every color of a gemstone, every color in the frequency of the gemstone has a significance. When you have a red colored gemstone, what do you mean by a red colored gemstone? The meaning of the red colored gemstone is that it is emitting the frequency of red color. That's simple as that. It stimulates your circulation, makes us alert, warm, relaxes us, and also bring out aggression. So bringing out aggression is not always good. Okay. So there are certain gemstones like ruby and coral that can bring your aggression out. And because of that aggression out, you can suffer. Your family can suffer. People can suffer. Similarly, we have orange improves the mood, right? And it is also stimulates and it is also increasing the sexuality and it increases your lightness. Yellow digestion. So that, that means that the yellow sapphire is also about digestion. It's about your liver. So wherever you have this Jupiter bad in your horoscope, you will have a bad liver. And to cure bad liver, wearing a yellow sapphire is very, very good. Right? If you have someone who's really having a bad liver, right, you can recommend a yellow sapphire. That will help. Right? Blue sapphire will calm you, will can make you lazy as well. It will give you a sense of security. You know, it's just a very, very silent thing, you know, that will work. That's what blue sapphire do, does. That's a blue color. It's a color of the sky. Violet, it's a transformation color. It's the highest color. It's the most powerful color out of all the colors. Brown gives you stability. It gives you connection to the earth. That is like Rahu. Rahu is brown in color. The color of the Rahu is exact brown. And it brings you near to the earth elements. When you have that chocolate car that you buy, right, or a brown car that you buy, you are buying a pure Rahu. It's like wine shade. It's like viney brown shade. The white that you see here is, is the spectrum of the color. It's like, you know, it's the color of peace, rest in peace kind of a color. Very, very peaceful color. Black is the color of protection, strength. It's the, it's the color where you gather strength. So when you wear black, how many of you have just felt a different level of confidence after wearing black color? You see, after the moment you wear black, you start feeling confident about certain things. There's a very different feeling when you wear black. Ladies and gentlemen, these are basic examples of what Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury does. Sun is ambition, success, power, aggression, adventure. Sun is, you know, our strength, our creative expression. Moon is our imagination, nourishment. You know, it's a divine feminine energy. Moon is our emotions. It is our inner depth, deep waters. You know, all these things are is moon. Mars is our focus, action, strength, aggression. Mercury is our intelligence, intuition. It is our mental faculties. It is activity, study, learning, communication, archetype of communication. Right? A day in the business is Mercury. Writing, speaking, communicating, everything is Mercury. Right? Jupiter, it's a direction of your life. It's expansion. It's confidence. <clears throat> wisdom, leadership qualities, family, knowledge, rituals, guru, friends, good friends, those friends who will take you to Iskon. That is what Jupiter represents, not the friends who will take you to a bar. Venus, love, sympathy, grace, sense, beauty, art, romance. It's the love, it's the pleasure, it's the fantasy, it's the indulgence. It's fun. It's connection. Saturn is your duty, responsibility, discipline, balance, independence, simplicity, silence, boundaries, lord of time and karma. So why I'm telling you all these things? Because when you wear the gemstones of these planets, these things will get activated in you. That's why I'm revising you these concepts. Think of a gemstone now. Ask yourself, 
what is missing in you is it the love is it the devotion you know it is the devotion which is missing what is missing inside you and these are the fingers i was talking about this the first finger is known as tardini madhyama anamika kanishta hatheli kalai these are the words that are used and these are the elements on the fingers agni mangala air varun is in the index these are the elements on your fingers this is akash this is prithvi and this is jala so you want to understand the five elements on your hand these are the five elements that is why all the ayurvedic doctors they touch your fingers the homeopathic doctors they will touch your fingers thumbs and they will make out what element is bad in your body easy easy for them easy for them so in the index finger it is primary it is it belong to jupiter the middle finger saturn venus and gomed they lead it madhyama ring finger anamika sun and mars anamika is also associated with the reproductive system of a female and the male that is why the wedding ring that you wear on the reproductive system that represents on the finger anamika look at find the meaning of anamika in sanskrit it represents the reproductive system of a female the little finger kanishta mercury and moon thumb is the angutha it it again belongs to mars and venus will gemstones change my destiny no gemstone is actually destined it cannot change your destiny whenever you are wearing a gemstone it is destined in your life that you will wear this gemstone and a miracle will happen in your brain in your thought process so it is the other way around it is not changing the destiny it is destined but definitely the gemstones can change your reaction to your fate jo aapke sath hona hai uska jo reaction hai wo badal denge gemstone 